while I was walking towards the Crystal Empire at night, the winds were howling and he could hear every creature around him snarling and alerting others. But the creatures kept their distance from him. Well, I'm glad we're getting rid of you, Flurry Heart. Anyway, you are the key after all. Briar kept marching through the snow, but out of nowhere a snowstorm hit them. Briar, blast! I'm going to be a tad late meeting sunburst at the front gates. As Briar got up to start walking again, he started to remember a conversation with Midnight a couple of hours before heading out. Briar, so remind me again, Auntie, why are we giving up Flurry Heart? Why are we giving Flurry Heart back to her family after you made a deal with Cadence? Midnight. Oh, the reason is the prophecy Cadence told me is because I created that prophecy. Well, Corruptor created it before the Empire disappeared. Except I changed it a mind a bit. It was actually written with the daughter of Mia Moya Canenza will become this shattered princess on her 16th birthday. Why, wouldn't her family be able to stop her becoming shattered? Midnight sips her blood wine. Oh, oh no, this curse is very powerful. Even if a family wants to stop it, the curse blocks out all magic, even hers. There's no way of stopping it. Corrupted shadow slivered towards the sleeping flurry heart and Briar. Corrupted. Well, think about it, Briar. The crystal and power runs on hope and love. Now, think what will happen when despair and negativity will bring. Briar. Darkness. But wouldn't the crystal heart protect the empire and the ponies? Midnight. Well, it's a good thing you asked that, Briar. The crystal heart isn't at its fullest to purify anything, because half the heart is missing. <laughs> Midnight gave her nephew a smile. Well, how is that possible? Wouldn't the crystal ponies know half of it's missing? Crypto. No, they wouldn't. We had some help from a shadow and an ancient dragon. So. That's all you need to know. You better hurry now. Sunburst is waiting for you at the Crystal Empire. Briar stopped walking as he made it to the front gates. Sunburst was holding the heart shaped parcel. Briar. Hello, Sunburst. Sunburst. Hello, Prince Briar Thorn. And it looks like Midnight kept her side of the deal for the trade. Briar pecked Flurry Heart up with his teeth and gave her the sunburst as he gave Briar the past. Sunburst, okay, before you go Briar, does this trade finish my deal with the queen, with your queen? Briar looked at Sunburst and laughed. Briar, no, your deal isn't finished with my queen yet until she is satisfied. Before Briar left, he whispered in Sunburst's ear, Briar whispered, if you tell the royal family about Queen Midnight's deal, Starlight is going to get a big scare when she finds you in her food. <laughs> Briar turned away and walked back into the snowstorm and feared it. But Sunburst was scared stiff by the threat. He slowly walked back up to the castle to see Cadence and Shining Armor crying their eyes out as they seem flowing hot.